Hello boys and girls and welcome to a very special ELD ALD tea time with Mr. T. Now we during tea time like to hold our cups out and we hold our pinkies up because we are so so very fancy and then we come in for a clink. Okay so tea time with Mr. T. This is a time when we read stories. Today is a special one because we're going to have an activity at the end that I think that you will enjoy. Uh, so it's, it's a special Tea Time with Mr. T. We are going to go back to our favorite pigeon. And this is The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. Let's see what happens with Pigeon this time. The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. box has a stamp on it that says one puppy. The pigeon wants a puppy. And this is a list that he wrote out and it says things I want. So you can see that list is really long. Oh hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. By the way, do you know what I want? What I've wanted forever? At least since last Tuesday. A puppy! Puppy, puppy, puppy! Oh, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I promise I'll water it once a month. What? Everybody knows that puppies need plenty of sunshine and water. Oh, I get it. You don't want me to be happy, do you? You don't want me to take my take a piggyback ride on my puppy or play tennis with it. You just don't understand. I'm a puppy loving pigeon. Oh, puppies. I want a puppy right here, right now. Whew. What's that? Is it possible? Have my dreams come true? Ah! It's huge! The teeth, the hair, that wet nose, the slobber, the claws. I, I mentioned the teeth, right? Really, I had no idea. I've, I've changed my mind. I want a walrus. There's the end. All right, so our friend Pigeon talked all about how much he wanted a puppy. Right? I want a puppy, I can't wait to have it. And then once he got the puppy, what happened? It wasn't what he expected, huh? So he changed his mind, right? And it's okay, that's all right to change your mind, right? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna write a sentence. And we're going to write it together, but I'm not going to write a complete sentence. I'm going to leave an empty spot for you to fill it in. Okay? So this goes along with it. This story was about something that Pigeon wants. Now we're going to write about what you want. Think about something 
that you want right now. And if you have to pause the video to think about it, do that, okay? But remember, this is something that you're going to write today. You might change your mind tomorrow. Just like Pigeon changed his mind in the story, you might change your mind. So I'm not going to uh, come back when you're 25 years old and say, oh, remember in first grade you said you wanted, you wanted that toy? Well, you can't change your mind. No, that's not going to happen. Come on, that's, that's silly. So I just want you to think of something. Maybe the first thing that pops in your head that you want right now. Maybe it's a popsicle. Mm -hmm. And you're going to write that. Okay? And it's going to start off with a capital. Because every sentence that we start starts with a capital. I. We're going to write our capital I. I. And we're going to put our space here. And we're going to write want. W. W. Ah. Uh. Ah, wa, ah, ah. N, n, t, t. There's a T for Mr. T, huh? I want, and you see all this space that's left? That is for you to write on. You are going to tell me what you want. And if there's two things that pop in your mind. You can do this. I want, and then underneath you can put I. Also, ah, uh, ah, uh, all, oh, oh. oh, oh. Space, want, wuh, wuh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mm, mm. T, t. There you go. I also want, and then on, in this space, you can write something else that you want. So if you can't decide and it's getting too hard, make two sentences. If you want, if there's three things, write three sentences. It's, it's uh, the more practice, the better you're going to get. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed our pigeon story. Have fun coming up with something that you want, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.